I'm going to show you how to generate SSH keys for use in Planet Lab. Anyone who uses Planet Lab is going to need to use SSH keys at one point or another. That means users, principal investigators, and technical contacts. There are two versions of this tutorial. One version is for Windows, the other version is for Mac and Unix users. The total runtime of the tutorial will probably be less than five minutes. It's really simple and easy to follow. First, some background on SSH keys. If you're already familiar with SSH authentication, you can skip ahead. Secure Shell, or SSH, is a network protocol that allows data to be exchanged using a secure channel between two network devices. It has two basic purposes. The first is to allow a user to securely identify himself to a remote computer. The second purpose is to encrypt all session traffic between the local computer and the remote computer. These services provide integrity and confidentiality for your data over the unsecured channel, which is the internet. SSH uses public key cryptography to authenticate the user at the remote machine. The process begins with the creation of two really, really large numbers. Think really big, lots of digits. One of these numbers is called the private key. The other is called the public key. You only need to create these keys once. The private key is supposed to be kept private. It should never be sent an email or left lying around where someone else could make a copy. The public key is public and can be sent to all of your friends and enemies. Anyone can access it and they really can't do anything with it by itself. You need both parts of the key, the public and the private part, in order to use SSH. In order to further protect your privacy, you can put a password on your private key. Some people choose not to put a password on the private key. That makes it easier to use, but makes it less secure. Anyone who might happen along your private key can then access all of your, your resources. We recommend that you put a password on your private key. It's just good citizenship. Planet Lab uses SSH keys to allow different people to access a shared account. For example, there may be 10 researchers registered on a given slice. On each node where the slice exists, there's an account with that slice name. On that account is a list of public SSH keys for the authorized users of that slice. If your private key matches one of those public keys, you're going to be allowed to log in. If you're not on that list, you're not going to be able to get in. I'm going to use a Mac, but the operations are equivalent on any Unix or Linux machine. The software that we're going to be using is called OpenSSH. It has a lot of different components to it. The particular piece that we're going to be using is called SSH KeyGen. If you can't find this on your computer, go talk to your system administrator and ask them to please install the OpenSSH package. So we're going to start the command line prompt, because we're Unix users, and we're going to use SSH KeyGen. We're going to tell it that the type of the key we need to create is an RSA key. And we're going to tell it that the file we want to put it in is in this directory. And we're going to call it ID under RSA. We're not going to use a password for this key. It's just easier, and I won't have to remember it. In order to forget the password, we just hit return twice. Voila, we've now created an SSH key. If we look at the files, we see that there's two files, the id underscore rsa file and the id underscore rsa dot pub file. The pub file contains a, a MIME encrypted version of our SSH key. This is public. We can hand it to anybody and they have no problem using it. The private file looks similar. It's a little bit longer. And remember, don't give it to your friends. One of the important things about SSH is that the SSH directory needs to be read-only. So if we see over here, we see D, it's a directory. RWX, that's me. I can read, write, or execute it. But the rest of it are minuses. That means nobody else has the ability to touch this directory. That's critically important. SSH will not let you use these files if it's publicly accessible. The last thing we need to do here is we actually need to copy the RD 
the idndrsa.pub file to a public directory. Otherwise, we're just not going to be able to access it when we want to upload it. So I'm going to copy it. And there it is. Okay, so now we're going to go back to our Planet Lab. And here I am logged into my Planet Lab account. I'm going to select the My Account option. And I see here that I have no key. Well, that's good. Now we're going to select in my home directory. And I see the file called idr under rsa.pub. I select that file, click Upload. Congratulations, the public key is now part of Planet Lab and available for use. The next step is to log into your slice. Remember that you can only access Planet Lab nodes if your private key is in your home directory on the machine that you're trying to use. If you try to use your friend's laptop, you're going to be unable to log in because your private key is safe and secure at home, not where you need it. So always keep it with you. See you next time.